Hey, I'm Ryan with DIY Painting Tips, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Graco True Coat 360 VSB handheld airless paint sprayer. It's meant for the DIY project painter for small projects, getting little things done, and uh, I have some opinions on it. So let's go ahead, dive in, and just take a look at the sprayer here first. So um, it runs just like any other airless piston driven pump. You've got uh, your Variable speed control, that's the VSP. There, there's another model, the DSP, dual speed control, and just has a high speed, low speed. So this is the variable speed, and you pay, I wanna say 50 to 75, somewhere in there more for this model versus that. Is it necessary? Probably not at the end of the day. But you've got your variable speed, and that's really just your pressure, turning the pressure all the way up, all the way down. Typically on any project, you're going to start with it down and just go up high enough until you get a nice even fan. Then we've got our priming valve here. So that just uh, primes the, the piston here, gets any air out of the system and gets paint flowing through. Then when you're ready to spray, just point it forward. It's got a nice little uh, sticker on here. Spray for forward. It also comes with a number 12 reversible tip. One thing I don't really like about these is they don't use Graco's standard tips and I'm sure there's some reason for it, but I can't figure it out. To me, it feels like if they just use their standard tips, then I could switch them around with all my other spray guns and instead of having a specific tip just for this specific sprayer. So that would be wonderful to me. Down here we have our, our paint storage and this is kind of a nice feature. Um, it's not a cup meaning there's not like a tube to siphon uh, paint out. It's a, it's a flexible paint bag. So it actually sucks it out from the top and vacuum kind of, I don't know what to call it, vacuum it all out of here. What that means is I can spray straight up, I can spray upside down, I can spray right side, sideways, anything. Where with like an HVLP where you've got a metal cup, You've always got to pay attention to where your um, siphon tube is and make sure that that's in the paint. So you have to hold it at the right angle. So that is a nice little feature here. Um, being an airless sprayer, this is something you probably use on say a fence, a deck, some walls, a ceiling, something like that. But this, this is where I've got my opinions on the machine. First of all, it's about seven and a half pounds. So if you're painting a door, no big deal. You're gonna have that arm tucked down and you're gonna paint a door. If you're painting a ceiling, this seven and a half pounds is gonna get miserable really quick. Even when I'm using a normal airless sprayer and, and it's got a hose, so all I gotta hold is the gun, my arm gets exhausted. So this is next level. So even if it's one bedroom ceiling, your arm is going to hate you. I would never recommend this sprayer for painting ceilings. Even walls. Um, I actually painted a little bit of this wall with this sprayer uh, earlier this summer. And about five, six, seven feet in, I wanted nothing to do with this sprayer anymore. So I think the uses on here are very specific. Like a fence, it's six feet tall. I'm never lifting that arm above Above my head and creating that extra stress on my shoulder doors fence maybe spraying stain on a deck but I've also got another beef with this compared to a normal airless paint sprayer is that it doesn't hold pressure so a normal airless sprayer is gonna have say a 25 foot hose and it's gonna hold pressure in the hose so it will pump build up pressure you'll spray for a few seconds before the pump kicks back in what that does is it keeps a much, uh, a much more even flow of paint. It keeps the pressure more stabilized. But since this can't hold pressure at all, every time that piston goes, you get a spike of pressure. Um, I'm sure if you saw a chart or something showing it, it would be just straight up and down. And what that does is it causes these bursts of paint to come out. And if it's going fast enough, it almost becomes unnoticeable, but you have to slow down. If you're, if you're spraying too fast, you'll, you'll see those in your spray. That's not something you deal with on normal airless sprayers. Just a, a flaw of handheld sprayers. It's nothing against the Great Go True Coat. It's probably all 
handheld piston sprayers, which there aren't a lot on the market. Most of them are gonna be HVLP air sprayers and stuff like that. So if they could figure out a way around that, I'd be a much bigger fan. But uh, this is really a touch-up gun. I don't think it has a lot of uses for the homeowner. When you're looking at roughly $250, you can get something like the, uh, the Graco Magnum X5 is about $270, and it's a normal airless piston-driven pump with a hose, and it's gonna be lighter on your arm. You can knock out your ceilings, you can knock out your walls, you can spray your deck, you can spray your fence, and not have that fatigue, and it's just gonna be an easier to go project. And you can stick that in like a five gallon bucket or a one gallon bucket. Where this, you've got your one quart bag. So if you're doing any project with any size, you're gonna be refilling this a lot. If you just go on to a Graco or Home Depot or something and read the reviews, people, you know, they're all over the place, but one of the big complaints is people say, I had to refill it four, five, 10, 15 times where if I just have a five gallon bucket and I spray my whole garage, I'm never, I'm never refilling that on a garage. This is really for touch-ups, very small projects, and most of the projects you're gonna, you would use this for, you can absolutely use your normal airless sprayer for. So if I just want one sprayer to invest in for my house, I'm gonna get something like the Wagner Control Pro or the Graco uh, Magnum, one of the X series in their Magnum line. One of those two sprayers is gonna cover 99% of what a, a normal homeowner needs. If I'm getting a second one for say furniture or cabinets, technically you can use this on those two, but you're gonna be much happier going with an HVLP system uh, like the Wagner Flexio series, which is gonna be anywhere from 100 to $200 depending on the model you get. We do have a video on the Wagner Flexio 2000. So if you have a second sprayer, and it's an HVLP, this would literally be a third sprayer and no homeowner needs a third sprayer. So maybe the, your, your handyman, you gotta shoot a door, a small chunk of fence, a couple rails on a fence. That would be the type of thing I see here, but that's about it. I do not highly recommend this sprayer, even though I think it's a good sprayer, it just doesn't have a place in the DIYers toolbox. So that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this in the future, and thanks for watching.